It is thought that the sun baked away half the original substance of Mercury. The lighter elements vaporized, leaving behind a planet made of rock and metal. All right, folks, welcome back to Custom Action Figures 101. I'm Rob Panic. Um, today, I'm going to do a little tutorial that I've had quite a few requests for. Um, many of you may have seen this guy that I did. Um, and I've had a few requests on a tutorial on how to make the blast effects uh, to make the gunfire coming out of his out of his gun is there um, along with that one done a couple of other ones we've got some flames to come out of your flamethrowers and for you Star Wars guys Force Lightning. Emperor, Emperor Palpatine here with his Force Lightning coming out. A few things you're going to need to make these. You're going to need yourself a low temp glue gun. But even though it's a low temp glue gun, we're going to be using high temperature glue sticks in it. You're also going to need a paper clip, some pliers, a cup of ice water, and to make your hole in the end of, of the weapon, you're going to need a drill bit, the same diameter as your paper clip. Um, I got a set of precision drill bits off of eBay. Um, they came with a little pin vise. Um, you can use the pin vise. I just have it chucked up in my, my drill just to make it a little faster. But anyway, what you're going to want to do is straighten out your paper clip. Once you get it straightened out, leave yourself a little crook to hold on to. Now, depending on what you're going to make, depends on which end of the effect you're going to have bigger than the other. With a blast effect coming out of a gun, you're going to want the end to the closest to the gun built up a little bit more, tapering out to small. Uh, here's another example of one I did. As you can see it starts out fat on the end closest to the weapon and it tapers out to small as it goes across. If you're going to be doing a fire effect you're going to want the exact opposite. You're going to want it to start out small and work its way out bigger. For this one, I'm going to do an effect for a rifle, so we're going to start out with big closest to the rifle, small on the other end. Alright, you're going to take your glue stick, your hot glue gun and your glue stick, and what you're going to want to do is lay down a little layer of glue. Starting on one end, moving it out. Once you get a bead laid on your paper clip, dip it in your ice water. What it does is pretty much instantly cools your glue stick. Then the same thing, you're going to want to completely cover it. from one end to the other. Once you get to the end, dip it, bring it out. And as you can see, 
I'm building up a little bit more on the end closest to the whipping and tapering it out. Dip it in the ice water, bring it out. And you just want to keep going around until you've got it built up as much as you like or as little as you like. You know, it, it all really depends on personal preference. But I dip it in the water in between each pass to cool it, make it easier to lay the next level on without it kind of melting all in together. You're going to want to turn around, find it, fill in any spots you've got that aren't covered. I do suggest using a chrome paper clip. Um, it won't show as much with a chrome paper clip as if you were to use a colored paper clip or a piece of colored wire. Um, that'll show through your clear glue. But the chrome, it, it, it blends itself in. Keep building it up. Until you've got what you're looking for. And the reason I use a high temperature stick in a low temperature gun is it doesn't seem to melt it out as much as a low temperature stick. Um, I've done some with a high temperature gun and you can do it, it just takes you know, a lot more patience. There's a lot more margin for error when you're using a high temperature glue gun versus a low temperature gun. But you're going to fill in Okay. Okay, once you've got the base of your flame laid down and built up like you like, come back in, take your glue gun, do just a little stippling on it, take the glue gun, stick it on, pull it off, just to add a little texture. zigzag patterns anything just to to give it some imperfections you don't want it to look absolutely perfect you want this to to kind of be a haphazard looking closer to, to fire um, fire and flames aren't perfect they're they're all random and that's the effect you want to go for Okay, for the next step, I've moved over to my spray booth. Um, we're going to add some color to it. I'm using a Spectratex Airbrush Brilliant Yellow. It's a translucent clear yellow. Um, but you can use any clear paint or you know, water down a little bit of your yellow latex, I mean acrylic paint to, to get it transparent. So basically what you want to do is give it a coat of color. You want to use transparent or translucent paint to get the best effect. I'm going to start with yellow. Once I've got it completely colored with my yellow, When I come in, I'm using a little, oh, a little Army Painter War Paint Quick Shade Red Tone Ink, and you can also brush it on. Um, just brush it on in thin layers if you if you don't use an airbrush. I'm gonna put a few drops the red down in with my yellow paint. Give it 
give it a little quick bubble mix. Because I don't want to completely mix it together. I, I'm, I'm going more for a marbleized look than I am just a straight mix orange look. And then I'm going to come back. Red and yellow mix. And add the colors up towards the flame end. Or towards the barrel end, excuse me. To leave the tip on this end more yellow. Then once you've gotten that painted, to add a little bit of an orange effect, come back with a red ink or, or red paint. In this case I'm going to use the ink. Put a little drop. Then take your brush and you're basically going to want to do like a, a dry brush up towards the, the barrel end. Just to add a little bit more red. got it painted. You've got your flame burst effect to come out from the end of the barrel. Now let's add it to the gun and see how it looks. Okay, now you're going to want to take your rifle or your pistol or your flamethrower, whatever you're going to add the effect to. Take your drill, and slowly drill a small hole in the end of the barrel. What's that? What that's going to do is that's where your two, where your paper clip is going to go. Take your cutters, trim it off, and stick it in the end of the barrel. And there you have it. Once again, another very easy effect to make, something to, to add to the look of your figures. Um, anyone can do it. You can pick up a glue gun for, I think it was less than $3 for a low temperature glue gun at Walmart, three or four dollars for a pack of, of glue sticks, a couple of bucks for a, a pack of paper clips, and then you know, you've all already got you know, paints and get yourself a little set of precision drill bits to drill the end of, of your weapons and you're good to go. Once again folks, thanks for joining me here. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. Check us out on serpentorslayer.info for the forum, serpentorslayer.com for our new site. Uh, check out my site at galacticplastics.net and look for us all on Facebook. Be sure to like and share the video. Let all of your customizing friends know about us. And uh, until next time, may the force be with you.